20,000 mercenaries are poised to attack Rome. Half the city's population have fled in panic. Strange as it seems, the Pope himself appears unconcerned and tries to reassure those who remain. He refuses to believe the mercenaries will dare attack the holy city, the rock on which the Christian faith is built. And there's another reason he's still so calm. He's recently formed a strategic alliance with France, Florence, Milan, and Venice. And he's convinced they will send troops to help repel the Duke of Bourbon and his army. At first light, the invaders march from their camp. A mile away, through a thick fog, they approach the daunting walls of Rome. It would have been near to impossible for them to get in. If they were a proper invading army, they might have had the siege weapons, the ladders, but they didn't. What they do have is the perfect cover. The fog is the strategic edge the raiders need, allowing them to scout unseen for a weak spot. Some of the walls weren't really in very good shape and sort of shoddily been put up last minute in some cases, not particularly well built. Guarding the walls is a ragtag assembly of Roman citizens including the celebrated artist and goldsmith, 27-year-old Benvenuto Cellini. Cellini is best known for his statue of Perseus in Florence. But today, he's just another hired muscle. No, Cellini was actually asked to guard one of the palaces in Rome. And he was put in charge of about 50 men. Benvenuto Cellini was the equivalent of a modern-day rock star. Yeah? but he was also a thug, he was also an assassin. He did hunt down the killer of his brother and assassinated him. Finally, at a crumbling section of the Roman wall, Bourbon's invaders attack. The moment the shooting started, Cellini and his friends were prepared to run, but as they had already loaded their weapons, they turned and aimed in the general direction of their invaders and just fired. One of their shots, possibly from Cellini himself, hits the Duke of Bourbon. The invader's commander is down. Inside the city, Cellini and the Roman defenders parade through the streets proclaiming victory. But they can't be more wrong. Seriously wounding Bourbon has lit a fateful fuse. It was a game changer. Bourbon didn't want his men to sack Rome. He just wanted them to take the Pope for ransom. But shooting their commander has played into the hands of the most extreme of the mercenaries. 8,000 fanatical German Protestants who are convinced the Vatican is corrupt and the Pope is the devil himself. 